In this video, I am going to share how our class during synchronous meeting used the whiteboard or the Jamboard feature that is now integrated in Google Meet application. In this example, my students and I are already in Google Meet and we are ready to use the online whiteboard. To start, I will click the three dot symbol or more options and select the whiteboard option. From this pop-up window, we can select the create new whiteboard or we can also make use of a created Jamboard that is stored in Google Drive. For now, I will select the create new whiteboard option. This pop-up window will appear to give access to some students. I will not change anything here because I will give access to all my students later. So whatever is in here will be overwritten. I will select the send button. The expectation is the students will see a Google Jamboard link in the Google Meets chat function. At this point, don't worry if not all students will have an access to the file. I will show how to give editor access to everyone in a bit. Moving on, I will first give an important instruction to all, which is to not click the clear frame as it will remove all the contents of the frame added by all students. I will change the background color to easily view the working area or the frame that we are going to work on. At this point, I am ready to share the whiteboard to all my students. For security purposes, it would be better if each email address will individually be given an editor access using the share with people and groups area. Or if your class has a Google Groups email address, that can also be added here. For my sample today, I will use the get link area. I will give editor access to everyone in our school domain. I will just make sure later to remove the editor access to keep the confidentiality and integrity of the whiteboard. Now the permission has been updated. Students can now access and edit the same file. The next part of this video will show a demo on how our class used the Jamboard, which I created within Google Meet application. So right now I can see eight students who are already here. I would like everyone to go to this whiteboard. So first I am going to use the text box here. And I'm going to change the size so that becomes bigger. And then um, I'm going to put it to center. And uh, let me change also the color. Okay, so let's say this is color blue. Click this insert picture or add image tool. So I'm going to click the add image tool. As you can see, there are four tabs here. Upload, Google Image Search, Google Drive, and Photos. So if you have photos in your computer that you can consider as ICT, you can use that. But for now, I am going to use the Google Image Search. Then here, I am going to look for the smartphone and then I am going to search it. I like this picture. So I'm going to select it and click the select button. And then I am going to put this picture somewhere that doesn't have answer yet. So I'm going to resize it. And then I am also going to put my name. I am going to use the text box. I'm going to put my last name and I'll change the color. And then I can also change the size to only caption so that students will have enough space for their answer. So right now I have one answer which is a smartphone considered as an ICT example, and my last name is Repatakodo. Is the instruction clear, class, of what you're going to put in this frame? Okay, I'm going to give you three minutes to do this, and three minutes starts now. Very good. Now I am going to have another frame. If you notice, I am going to click the next frame arrow symbol here. So I will have another frame. Those who are still working in the ICT example, you can continue. Um, once you are done, you may proceed to the next frame. So this is like the next part of a whiteboard. I am also going to change the uh, background so that we can easily see the working area. And here, what I would like us to do is to provide an information security threat. So let me change the size. 
Okay, so maybe I can also change the color. So here's what we are going to do in this frame. I am going to make use of sticky note. So sticky note, when you click that, this one will appear. So I am going to change the color to blue. And then here I am going to um, write an example. For example, fishing. And I am going to provide explanation of what fishing is. And then I am going to put my last name, which is Ripatakodo. I'm going to click the save button and then as you can see the sticky note is now there i would also like you to do the same you also have to make use of the sticky note so for this is there any question before we continue any questions okay so for this i am giving you three minutes also and three minutes starts now Okay, I am very happy that everyone was able to really participate in our activity today. Now, to protect our whiteboard, I am going to stop the sharing permission of the entire class. So, I am going to click now the share button here, and I am going to make all of you have a viewer access only. You are going to have an editor access again once we make use of this whiteboard. I hope you got an idea on how we can use the whiteboard or the Jamboard in Google Meet. If this video is helpful, please show your appreciation by liking and writing comments. Please consider subscribing to my channel too. Here are my other videos that might also be of help. Thank you!